Food and Drug Administration has released new rules for sunscreens. The products are going to have to pass effectiveness tests. They're going to carry some new labels as well. But it can be difficult for consumers to choose the right sunscreen. We're going to try and help you fix that with Dr. Jessica Krant, who joins me, a dermatologist with the Skin Cancer Foundation. Welcome back. It's nice to see you here on the set again. Uh, we're going to play factor fiction with you. You ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Question one, factor fiction. You can rely on sunscreen alone for protection from the sun. That is fiction. Okay. And not rely on sunscreen alone. The truth is that sunscreen provides an important and effective part of the sun protection plan for anybody. We also need to remember to wear protective clothing, hmm. sunglasses to protect the backs of our eyes, and hats with a brim that does go all the way around. Baseball caps don't cut it. Yeah, the back of your neck shirt. And, and we want to remember that. to avoid direct strong sun in the middle of the day. Okay, so definitely not is really what that is, the answer to that one. Number two, choose a sunscreen that is water resistant with an SPF of at least 30. Fact to fiction. Fact, when we are talking about extended outdoor exposure. Okay. For daily protection on a regular daily basis going to work, it's not mandatory to choose a water resistant sunscreen. Okay, how about the factor of 13, SPF factor, I mean 50 rather, can, or 20, whatever I said, 30. I know they do vary all over the place. If you want to go to say a 15, is that okay? Because that's a, a common number that you see. These SPF numbers are so confusing. They throw, yeah, they they throw everybody, exactly. more coffee. No. <laughs> exactly, they throw everybody off track. Uh -huh. The first thing to know about SPF is that it is only a number that reflects the protection from UVB rays, ultraviolet B. Okay. Ultraviolet A rays don't have a number scale associated. So right now the FDA has set a test in place to determine whether a sunscreen will truly qualify as a broad spectrum protector. Okay. Back to the SPF issue. Well, wait, I have another question. Okay. So we might, I think I'm getting what you're going to get up, but we're still going to ask it just because we made the graphic for it. Here it is. Above SPF 30, there's not much more protection. Is that a fact or fiction? Yes, this is exactly where I was going. I knew it. And my answer for this one is that it is both fact and fiction. Okay. SPF 30 blocks 97% of UVB rays. SPF 50 blocks 98.3% of UVB rays. They sound like almost the same number, but the truth is that 3% of the UVB rays get through the SPF 30. Mm -hmm. Only 1.7% of the UVB rays get through the 50. So it's okay. almost twice the protection when you think about it that way. Yeah, yeah. There is, even SPF 100 is not 100%. So this is a tricky scale that people should pay close attention to. SPF 30 is excellent for daily for use. The, uh, and okay. go higher if you have a special reason to. Last one, here we go. Uh, an SPF of 15 is not strong enough to reduce the risk of skin cancer or aging, fact or fiction? That is fiction, the way it's worded. SPF 15, that is labeled broad spectrum with the new labeling rules, does qualify by the FDA as protecting against aging and skin cancer. Mm -hmm. And they are now going to require that anything with an SPF below 15 mm -hmm. may not make that claim. Okay, can you just answer me yes or no? Is there anything such as a healthy tan? No. So uh, you, you, you've got to do the sprays or the creams or whatever. That's the only way to get that healthy glow. Ultraviolet radiation has been considered a class one carcinogen by the U.S. government, which is in the same category as tobacco. There is no yeah. such thing as a healthy tan from the sun or from artificial tanning unless it's a spray or a cream. Okay. Dr. Jessica Krant, a dermatologist with amazing skin there. Look at yours. You're <laughs> definitely living what you preach. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. A harrowing ride. The video doesn't.